My name's Brittany, I work for BAE Systems and I'm a fourth year apprentice aircraft maintenance engineer. So I grew up in the Hunter region. I was pretty much in a school where they emphasised, you know, that tertiary education was the only way to go. So I found myself in a business degree. I was interested in it for sure, but it just definitely wasn't the career I had in mind for myself. When I was at university, I realised that wasn't for me. Growing up, I was always interested in cars. Um, I had my own, just pretty much tinkering around in the shed of a weekend. So I figured an apprenticeship was sort of more for me. Um, I started just looking on Seek and Indeed and things like that, just casually just sort of looking for another option and then I stumbled across the apprenticeship program with Jetstar um, and then fell into it and I just absolutely loved it. In 2020, during the COVID outbreak, Jetstar decided to close its Newcastle facility. So that pretty much left us all you know, in the lurch. We didn't really know what was going on. Um, I was actually going to move to Melbourne to the new maintenance facility with Jetstar. So I had everything sort of pretty much ready to go there until um, my boss at the time messaged me about the opportunities that come up with BAE Systems. I heard about the opportunity and I jumped on it immediately. Had the interview the next week, got the job and yeah, it's worked out perfectly for all of us who come across. My main roles and responsibilities with BAE Systems is maintaining the lead-in fighter aircraft. So what that involves is essentially just sustaining the airworthiness of these aircraft. Um, the primary use of these aircraft is to teach and sort of it's, it, it is the lead-in fighter so it's just a lead into fighter jets to help train pilots and get them ready for the next steps of their careers. So yes, yeah, every, day, every day is just completely different which is awesome. The communication skills are definitely vital. Um, there is a lot of communication based um, activity in the hangar. So you're always talking to one another through a headset, you know, delivering messages, looking out for hazards, just pretty much keeping each other safe as well as um, performing the task at hand. The Hawk aircraft is very different to what I was used to working on at Jetstar. They're a very small aircraft, sometimes a little bit interesting to work with, but it definitely helps build skills. The best part about living in the Hunter region is pretty much the access to everything. So you've got the beaches, you've got country, you've got the city and everything all in close proximity without dealing with the hustle and bustle and the fast paced sort of nature, you know, that is a capital city like Sydney or Melbourne. It's just a, it's a much more relaxed sort of place to be, but you still have endless opportunities and, you know, activities with what you wanted to do. I'd encourage any female who has an interest in mechanics, engineering, anything to definitely jump in and apply. It's, it was dead set one of the best things I've ever done. Um, working in a male dominated industry can seem a little bit intimidating to start off with, but once you get to know the crews, the people, they make you feel like one of them. You just feel like a part of the team.